Hello, welcome back, and this is Raul. Welcome to Reliable Immigration Guide. Today I have really special guest with me, and thank you for your time and a moment. And uh, we are going to have a really small chat just for our viewers. So, uh, would you mind to uh, introduce yourself so that will be easy for me and for my viewers too, please? Absolutely. Yeah. Viewers, I'm Pat Learn. Okay. Um, I am uh, retired. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll say semi-retired, semi -retired, and yeah. uh, certainly I've been, uh, I lived in the country uh, most of my life, and then I moved to Alberta oh. and into the city uh, during the boom time, yeah. and decided as I got older that I wanted to come back to the country, yeah. and uh, so I'm just happy to be out here. We've, we, we call our property Paradise Acres. <laughs> because it really truly is paradise That's and i'm right. sh hoping raul can yeah. show some yeah, photos I'm, of yeah yeah i'm gonna have uh, <laughs> i do have some videos and photos that uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in the video so everybody can see that why this is you guys are call, calling paradise paradise acres. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. it took raul a few hours to get <laughs> to our property actually so absolutely uh, yeah 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 and this is my wife yeah. and you can my name is also Pat, yeah. and I grew up in the city in yeah. Calgary. Uh, lived in Drumheller for some time when I was a young woman. Yeah. Went back to Calgary, and then Pat and I wanted a place in the country to retire. That's so right. we were looking for land, yeah. and our neighbors sold us a 10 acre parcel. Uh, how about, like, as, as you said, you are semi retired and you're still working? So how was your working lifestyle, working in uh, like whatever you work did? So what, what are the work you enjoyed the most? Like did you have worked in city or have worked in uh, countryside or you worked somewhere else? Like what was that? I worked for 7-Eleven for 35 years. Mm. I uh, actually started in the stores but then became a territory manager. manager. So I traveled all across the country. Uh -huh. um, and it was, so I worked in the city. I had some stores in the city, but I also had some stores in the rural areas. Oh. But I was basically on the road, certainly since Pat and I have been together, I was on the road basically five days a week, oh. traveling, across, traveling across the country. Tra traveling across the country. Yeah. How about you, Pat? Well, I, when we decided to move out here, I worked at the Shear Nest plant for a little bit. Okay. And then I got a job at the store yep. in Hannah yep. and now I'm just there part-time that's good yeah so I'm semi-retired too yep, and that's I like right. it. how about this COVID-19 pandemic like was it affecting like like we know we we see that okay most of the cities area and the people those are a crowded area so how do you define or differentiate how safe you are here as compared to living in city and living in acreage or or countryside. countryside that's a great question yeah. and we are so fortunate to be out here because yeah. Pat's mother lives in Calgary in a residence there yeah and when this first on March the 13th of this year yeah. um, Pat went into the city and picked up her mother yeah. so that she could come here and get out of the residence because as everyone knows what was going on in senior citizens homes absolutely and I'll tell you that it was a blessing for Pat's mother, and it was a blessing for us to know that she was safe. Safe, yeah. Um, you're not going to get any safer than being in the countryside. We were isolated on our own oh, because okay. we only have certain neighbors. That's right. And we were in our own bubble. That's right. And Joan lived with us. Pat's mom lived with us from March the 13th until when was it when she went back? Mm, the end of July. Oh. And she will be coming back in September. She's visited other family members. She did go back to the residence. She had to isolate for 14 days. Oh, is that right? So mm -hmm. she but lived here, she with, lived here, here with, with us. Within the province, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But still, when she went back, went to, back Calgary, to Calgary, she had to isolate in the oh. residence. Oh. And I'll tell you, she, <laughs> she was amazing. That's why our flowers yeah. out front are very nice. nice yeah. She walked our dog yeah. every day, yeah. um, and she was so happy because she lost some weight because she was that walking was, she, all That these was her days. like best exercise, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we we couldn't be more blessed 
living in the country during COVID-19. Absolutely. But we do still take our precautions. Absolutely. Which we have to. Yeah, that's right. What are you? Especially going in, when we go into Hannah or into Drumheller, masks. Mask, and sanitization. Some, yep, sanitization. So we try to follow the protocols. Protocols. And we have had company out here this summer, but they camp down by the bunkhouse. And if we do offer... The washroom downstairs they come down and yep. they have theirs we have ours, ours so yeah. we're lucky to have the space to That's be able right. to yeah. share absolutely as as i know you travel the whole country you travel like uh, uh most of the places like i i just know whole canada but on the map i only been to to brampton mississauga uh, and i was in manitoba for a few days and then I'm in Alberta, but in Alberta too, I'm not like, I'm just going here and there. I want, I want to, I want to ask you one question, like, which is the best place in Canada or in the world? Where do you like to like, like to travel or you can recommend people? Okay. This is the best place you should go. And this is safe and people are nice and the weather is nice and food and everything. Well, we've been fortunate enough that we traveled in our younger years. We traveled a lot to Mexico, and Ooh. we love Mexico. Mexico. We went to Puerto Vallarta, we went to Ixtapa, we did, went to Cabo San Lucas, yep. Cancun. Uh, Cancun. Cancun yeah. mm -hmm. We love all those places, but I'll tell you, travel Alberta, yeah. you don't realize how much Alberta offers um, with what we have. That's right. You've got the mountains, yep. you've got the prairies, yep. Um, you, we've just got beautiful land out here. Yep. Um, and in Canada, I had the opportunity of traveling into the Maritimes and Newfoundland. Newfoundland. And okay. Newfoundland is absolutely gorgeous. That's right. Um, I went there on a, in a situation that wasn't such a happy thing because one of my coworkers had been killed. Oh. But I just love Newfoundland. It, it is absolutely a, a beautiful, beautiful place. place. So during COVID, let's just travel within Canada. Canada. This is the place, place to be. To We've be. got so many places that are beautiful. That's right. That's right. How about you, Pat? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you recommend? Or what do you think? Well, where should I travel or we should travel? I remember when I was younger, I was maybe 12 or 13. Yeah. My family drove to Vancouver to visit some friends of my parents. Yeah. And when I saw Vancouver... It took my breath away. I loved Vancouver. Yeah. And I have holidayed and spent some time out there, but I didn't want to live there. I had the opportunity, but mm, no, I didn't jump into the pond. Yeah. So I, I've been living in Alberta all my life. That's right. But I've been to Ontario to visit Pat's family. Yeah. And Ontario is beautiful, beautiful too. Beautiful too, right? Yeah. Really nice. So, so many lakes. So yeah. So... You, you mean to say the whole country or Canada is the best place to live, safe place, and you can travel wherever you want. And uh, Alberta is the best province where you can find most of the things. I know Vancouver, we have all the provinces, they do have some best things, right? Mm -hmm. But in Alberta, whatever she said, they offer we got everything here. Yeah, here. We I got everything. Alberta, you yeah. got you, we we just have everything. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. you know one thing that I do miss though, and we do have some lakes and things, yeah. but because I was born in Ontario, I was yeah. born in Toronto. Yeah. But I the only thing I would miss from Ontario is some of the lakes. When you go camping, yeah. you've got um, you're on a lake. So you don't necessarily need a shower, shower room. room. You you can swim, swim in the lakes, the lakes as, yeah. and that's what we did as I was growing oh, up. Okay. But we've just got so much to offer in Alberta. Alberta it yeah. really is a beautiful province. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I'm. I'm whatever the numbers I have, like uh, running a business, and we do have some numbers. Like due to this COVID nineteen pandemic, people are not traveling outside Alberta, and the government of Alberta. They are just trying to push travel within within the province. So I'm I'm seeing like I'm living in place where all the visitors comes down there. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing the more crowd uh, compared to I can say last two years mm -hmm. because now people they are not going outside Alberta and uh, people more people are coming from every part of the of the province. So which is a good sign, which is a good thing. Now people and the kids they get to know what we have. 
right? And mm-hmm. we have lots. We have everything. So we don't have to go... Like, at, at one point, we will say, okay, now we are done here. But it will take more years to say that, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And you always want to go back to the places you love. That's yeah. right. And I think the only thing that you have, we have to consider during this pandemic is let's just be safe. And let's... And let's make sure, like I'm hear, hearing horror stories in Calgary about yeah. people picking up garbage because people are throwing their masks, masks and their and gloves things. just yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Let's just be respectful. We're, we're all going through this together. Yeah. So let's just make sure we're respectful and, and pick up litter and, and do those types of yeah. things. That's what Albertans are all about. Uh, about Canada, we know the, all the histories and everybody uh, about Canada and all the provinces and everything. So Canada is all about different culture. We, we always call, like Canada is all about different people, right? Uh, Canada is all about, uh, you can see as many different restaurants. If you want to eat sushi, if you want to eat Indian food, if you want to eat Korean or if you want to eat whatever you want, right? So what do you think about what... Uh, why Canada is, we always say, multicultural country and why uh, we can find so many people here. What is the reason? Well, I hope the reason is because Canada has been open for immigrants to yeah, come. And right. I think it's wonderful to meet so many people in Canada. The whole history of it is built on immigration. That's right. First to Germans and the French and the Europeans, and now some it's Some people from more... Brit, Brit, uh, UK, United Kingdom mm-hmm. too, right? That's yeah. where my grandparents came. That's right. They came from England. Yeah. And now there's more people coming from Philippines, India, yep. Africa, Africa, all over the world. The yeah. world is a small place, place now. now. Yeah. So I think it's great, and I hope Canada continues to welcome immigrants. Perfect. It's yeah. such a benefit for yeah, absolutely. all of us. All of us, yeah. What do you, what I, do you, what well, do you think same, about it? Well, same thing. Yeah. I mean, being with 7-Eleven, we have so many different ethnic groups, groups. in 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I've learned so much That's from right. those individuals. And even within my own family, um, I have a Jamaican brother-in-law. That's right. Um, so... I continue to hope, just like Pat does, yep. is that we welcome immigrants and different nationalities. Pat was mentioning the other day, you know, that we're still a young country. That's right. Right? Yeah. We're very, very, very young. young country, yeah. And I, sometimes I worry with what I see on the news in the United States and how things are, what's going on there. Yeah. Um, but I think the majority of people are accepting the different ethnic groups cool. in Canada. Yeah, and in food, we can't order um, sushi. sushi, we can't order, order Chinese to have delivered at our do, door yeah. because when we go to the city, that's, that's what, we, what we do. That's, that's what, what we do, do because yeah. we just love the yeah. different And you can cultures. find so many different kinds at one place, right? Exactly. Yeah. As we know, do you happen to have uh, any friends, uh, those who are migrated to Canada? You do? My brother-in-law. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Yep, from Jamaica. Yeah. Um, and so many people that, again, that I worked with in 7-Eleven. 11, yeah. People who came from the Philippines. Yeah. People who came from India. Yeah. Um, uh, one fella, I just loved him to death. His name yeah. was Ritesh Patel. Yeah. And Ritesh, I hope you're going to watch this. Yeah. Um, he was fantastic. He came to work at 7-Eleven yeah. and kind of followed me and... and um, took over one of the stores that I was uh, territory manager with. Yep. But um, yeah, many, many people that we know, just right. certainly in my business yep. anyway, I, yep. I've got them from all over the world. Yeah. Have you, have you met any uh, immigrant or do you have any friends? Oh, I've got lots of friends from many, many years. Mm, yeah. um, even in high school, my best friend, yep. her family came from England, her dad... Oh was from Pakistan, yep. her mother was from England, yep. and she was my best friend in high school. Yep. And from there, uh, working as a engineering drafts person, okay. there was a fellow that was from Russia, another fellow from Korea, Korea. Oh, yeah. um, a girl and her family that escaped from Poland. Oh, okay. Um, and almost everywhere I worked, 
there's been a lot of immigrants, immigrants yeah. in the population, population of, the, okay. of the workforce Perfect, from yeah. all over the place. So she... And what I find really disturbing right now yeah. is with everything that's going on um, with COVID-19 is, is how um, some people are treating Chinese people and thinking that they're the problem yeah. and how this all was started. And I, and I really struggle with that because even myself, I was born in Canada. Yeah. Um, I'm intermixed. Yeah. But I had people when I was running a 7-Eleven store that told me, why don't you just go back to your own country? Oh, is that right? And it was like, are you kidding, kidding me? Yeah. Like, so, yeah, um, I really feel for the people, you know, especially the Chinese people and the yeah. different ethnic backgrounds on yeah. how, how they're getting treated right now. And Absolutely. we really need to, we really need to stop that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's a great thought. And uh, yeah, and that, that's the best thing you can share. We can share, we can pass it on to the people that people is not the problem. We need to fight against the disease, disease or the mm -hmm. virus, right? Exactly. We don't have to fight with the people. As you live here in countryside, what you miss compared to the living in city? Like I'm talking about basic things like hospitalization, Hospitals, uh, restaurants, or electricity, or or the water supply, or do you have any problem with, uh, or do you miss something like, oh, I don't have something here, but oh, I wish I've been in living in city or something else. What do you think? Like, what do you, how you differentiate that? Sometimes we miss um, shopping opportunities. Okay. Um, just retail shopping. Retail shopping. And um, restaurants. And restaurants, for sure. We miss restaurants and yeah. the diversity of food. Yeah. However, that's kind of forced us to learn how to make some cooking choices that, like tonight we're having tandoori chicken and yeah. naan bread. Yeah. And I can make some pretty good Thai food, too. Yeah. If I can get the ingredients here. Yeah. But then if I can't, we get them in a bigger shopping center. Yeah. Um... The electricity here is pretty good. Education, the schools, schools out here good. in the country yeah. are good. The bus yeah. comes, comes by, picks, by, picks up, up the kids. Yeah. and um, There isn't really anything out here in the country that as an essential service. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, like Basic thing, whatever yes. the essential thing you're getting. I think everybody should get the similar things uh, right across from like the whole country. Wherever you live, you get the uh, hospitals, mm -hmm. same same standards, mm -hmm. I can say. You get the good doctors. Mm -hmm. Wherever if you go to the city, you can have the same degrees doctor there. I know less number of doctors probably, mm -hmm. but you get the same standard of uh, treatment Care. and yeah. everything, right? Mm -hmm. and, but education, roads, like roads, if you go with the highways, like you, I, you, you, you travel, <laughs> you, are, you are always on the road. Right, so you so know that road. thing yeah. really, really better than anybody, right? So. We feel pretty fortunate because things have grown. We've yep. got a hospital in Drumheller. We have a hospital in Hannah, which yep. is 20 minutes away. Yep. We've got great doctors. Yep. And God bless you, um, <laughs> the rural doctors, yep. because I give you guys a lot of credit. That's, That's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, you know what? I don't miss a lot from the city. That's I, right. Comments and viewers, they were asking, yeah, uh, like they feel like if you see Canada, they always feel like tall buildings. They always feel like, oh, okay, or twenty four seven, all the bars and the people around, nothing like that. Like you can have everything wherever you go, right? So you can live in countryside. That's how we can. Like I always recommend in from my videos that okay, if you live in Canada. You can live anywhere. You get all the basic thing, whatever you need. There is nothing like, oh, I'm not gonna get any. Some this is the this is the best thing. Like I need whatever I need as a basic thing, I'm getting it, and I'm fine here. Like with the cost of living cost and uh, insurances, right? Yeah, House price, and you get everything. Neighbors are nice. You get more place rather than living in city, right? Mm -hmm. Less people, less mm -hmm. traffic, and. That's that's what I like it. That's right? a benefit. We are very very fortunate to that's be right. where we're at. That's right. Absolutely. I, I yeah. couldn't be more blessed. Yeah. yeah. As a sidebar, however, there may be some indigenous communities who would have trouble with what we just talked about yeah. because they don't have the services, services, services. that we do. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's yeah. a good point. Pat. That's a good point. Yeah. And my last question is, as born in Canada. What 
you wanted to say my viewers why canada is the best place to live in the country like i'm not comparing oh this is good here this is bad here but in general in general i think canada is trying to do things right yeah and make the right decisions that are inclusive to everybody i think the idea is right for Canada to exist as a wonderful place to live yeah, yeah. because we're trying to do the right things and make the right decisions so that everybody has a good life here. Yep. We yep. are much more better off yep. in Canada yep. than what other countries go through. That's right. Yep. But we will always have things that we struggle with. That's right. That's yep. not going to go away. Yeah. But I just hope for the younger generation that it continues to get better and better and that, better. That's right. Yeah. And that's what government, like we are not talking about any any political parties here. That's right. We are just talking about the government and the policies or the whatever the constitution they are talking about. They always think about we wanted to make the things really better, better every single day. All right, thank you so much for your time, and it was nice to talk with you guys. And oh, I really like this. Thank you, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Guy. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Bye, bye. See you later.